Good morning, everyone. This is the reason why I like to get up early. Look at that sunrise, just like a hot pink. I just got out of the shower and I blew dry my hair and I'm going to be doing a five minute challenge. And right now it is quarter after 12 in the noon and I'm just going to start, okay? I don't even have all my stuff out. I don't know what I'm going to use. I know I'm going to start off with this though. <laughs> this is the way my hair blows dry, guys. All right. gonna put on my powder. I don't even know where my new stuff is. Okay. Okay, one minute gone by. Okay, let me have this stuff out. Okay. Now eyebrows. the palette and I'm gonna take my la, 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 la. oh shoot I don't I should have got my brushes ready all right I'm just gonna take some of this um looks like an orangey beige and I'm just gonna brush that over up onto my crease and then I'm going to take some of this brown down here, down the bottom. Oh, I'm using all the wrong brushes, and I have the right brushes here too, but oh well. some of my Hula bronzer and I'm just going to use the brush that it comes with and Okay, guys, my five minutes is up. This is it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to keep on getting ready. Um, I'll finish my face after. Uh, let's see. I have a couple of tags I need to do. And um, seeing I failed my five-minute face, actually, the only thing I have left to do is my mascara. This is just a light makeup day. Oh, and my lip gloss. But I didn't have anything set up, so... I didn't have my brushes or anything set up. Maybe I'll redo this. Or maybe I won't. Um, I am so tempted to go and get fake nails put on, you know, tips. I want a French manicure for the spring. I just, I want something to make my hands look better and fresher and I miss having that time once a, once a week or once every two weeks where I could just go sit and relax and have my nails done. And I don't know, we'll see how this afternoon goes. Or I might go tomorrow. Um, there's a place maybe 20 minutes from here. So it's not really that bad. 
and I need to cut my hair too. I like to do it myself because my hairdresser is really good at, and look at my cowlick right here, this is why I have this spot right here that the hair always goes off to the side. Um, my hairdresser is really good at coloring. She really puts the highlights where I want them, but she's not that really that great at cutting. She did a good job last time. She, she did it the way I wanted to, and she's really spent a lot of time. That's the thing. She'll be answering the phone. She'll have the phone next to her, and she's then she has to run over to the desk, and I hate that. They usually do have a receptionist there. I just hate it when they get distracted or, you know, they have to leave for a second to go do something, and then they come back, and I'm wondering, is she even going to know whether the last highlight was a highlight or a low light when she comes back? Like, how does she know? So anyways, oh, this time when I did my hair, I put some mousse on it, Bukti's Sky High Volume, and it does make my hair feel like it has a lot of body. Let's see if it gives it any shine. Yeah, it does, actually. I'm gonna use, okay. I've been liking this Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. What I do is I just kind of spray the roots, pull it up, pull, spray, pull, spray. Pull spray and pull and spray. Lately, I've been just kind of like piddling around the house, piddling. I I, I always use that word. Um, around the house and just organizing and stuff like that. I need to go and I need to go and visit my oldest daughter. She invited us for Easter and uh, that's the drawback of having pets and not having anybody around to take care of. I mean, I have a friend up the street, but I'm not going to ask her to come down on Easter Sunday, you know, during the day when she's got guests and let my dogs in and out and all that stuff. Plus, if Sophie leaves like little presents around, I mean, that's nobody needs to be doing that on Easter Sunday. They want to be with their families and stuff like that. <laughs> Look at this. I am, I have such a far widow's peak on each side and I hate it because my bangs and stuff just get really screwed up. All right, so I'm just going to deal with that afterwards. Some of this lip pencil, it's um, by Boutique Lip Liner. Color is natural. I'm not sure, but I think I got it at Sally's. So my husband and I go to Walmart yesterday, and he says, I want to get some curtains for my music room. So I'm like, oh, you know, that's, that's fine. You know, whatever you want to get for in there. I mean, I don't really care because it's, I don't go in there much. Actually, I take that back. I do. I'll go in there and um, sometimes I'll bring him down a cup of hot chocolate at night or something like that when he's down there listening. Or um, I'll cut him up like a little tray of cheese with crackers and go down and join him and listen to music. And matter of fact, the other night I went down and he was funny. He got up and he started dancing. It was a slow song. He's getting so nostalgic lately when it comes to music. And he was just feeling in a romantic mood. So it was, it was, it was kind of nice to, to dance. You know that song, I wish you'd dance, don't forget to dance. Um, and it really was nice. I really, we looked at each other like, you know, wow, this feels good. We should do this more often. I'm going to put on some of this NYX hot pink. But um, I'll tell you, what a weird eyebrow job I did today. Really. Like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking doing the five-minute challenge without having, like, all my brushes and everything all in a row? That was silly, wasn't it? I don't know why sometimes I do things. Oh, guys, remind me to show you. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Don't mind me. Remind me to show you the new vacuum cleaner I got from HSN. It was a today's special value. It's a Hoover bagless wind tunnel upright, and it only weighs like 10 or 12 pounds, I forget.
but it's a lot lighter than my other one and it's a lot more compact the beater head on it is only about this wide so it fits into like little crevices that my other one didn't and plus this one fits underneath things further than my other one did too I have a Dyson when I say my other one and I keep that on the middle floor but I the one I had down here was a Hoover and it finally died like after you know 20 years so I saw the special of the day and I just got on the phone and ordered it and I love it my husband is the type that has to research everything and like he'll go on and he'll read, he'll read like consumer the reviews on all whatever I want he'll have to read all the consumer reports and all that stuff and this time I just went ahead and did it without telling him and he's like, I could have gone on, you know, eBay or Amazon and got that so much cheaper. And it turned out afterwards he did, and I still got it cheaper. Plus, I didn't have to pay shipping, which was great. I thought it was wonderful. So I get it here, and I fall in love with this thing. It has more suction than my Dyson does. And we paid a small fortune for the Dyson. It's the Dyson Upright animal it's called it's purple and you know it worked good like you know for a while and then the suction stops a little bit and it just slows down um i'm sure this is going to do the same thing because like if you don't keep the filters washed and stuff like that and you have to dry them for 24 hours so i just did the dyson filters and cleaned them all out and compared with this one this one works better yeah it was like 100, 109 119 no more than that and it was um free shipping came right to my door um all i have to do is just put the handle down in and snap it in and plug it in and i was ready to go you can empty the, the basket just by pressing the button and empty it right over your wastebasket you know shut the bottom pop it back on the top but I was so proud of myself that I picked it up like dirt cheap and it was free shipping that day. So I'll show you. So anyways, oh, yesterday when I was out, I picked up some of these Biore charcoal strips. Have any of you guys ever used these? You put them across your nose and it pulls out the blackheads. And I picked up some of these nails, but I'm not gonna put them on. They're the little French dips. Petite, you get 28 nails. I don't even know if there's glue in here. But guys, you know what I really love? And I used this last night and it's this stuff here. I don't have my glasses on. Um, it's a mask and it's, it's a gel, but it's a moisturizer. And that's what it looks like. And let's see, it's like, it's just a gel consistency and it smells so clean. So anyways, last night, instead of putting on my Hope in a Jar from Philosophy, I decided to try this. And I thought, you know, I would just wanna see. There must be something in here. My skin felt really good. It dries like, you know, immediately afterwards. But it must pull the moisture into your skin with probably hyaluronic acid or something. I forget how much this was. It was a little pricey. But I got up this morning and my face was like peeling, like um, flaky. And I thought there must be something in that that, you know, sloughs the dead skin off while you're sleeping. So I get in the shower and I used my micro delivery dermabrasion from um, Philosophy and my Purity Made Simple. And I made like a little thing and scrubbed and then I took my face cloth while the little granules were still on my skin. And I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. I got most of the dead skin off. I still have like a few little flakies around my chin because I have uh, outbreak of eczema right now, right on the corners of my mouth. And I'm trying to get rid of those. So I bought some of this Carmex. It's for cold sores, but this is, as you all know, eczema is not cold sores, but I figured I've tried everything else. I've tried, you know, the Neosporin. I've tried cortisone. Um, I've tried um, Aquaphor, everything. And I figured I'm going to try this and see if this works. And this little bugger right here was like $11.99 for this teeny, teeny, weeny. Remember Blistex? You'd get a thing like this for like 89 cents back in the day. Back in the day. So I tried this little thing last night and it did, it kind of sloughed off the skin on that so I was able to take my tweezers and like peel around. I love doing that and lift the edges of this scab and then like peel it off. <laughs> and I don't know why guys, I, I, I'm i just a picker and I just, uh, it's crazy. 
why I, I don't know why I do these things, but I've always been that way. If somebody's got a sunburn or something like that, I love to get in there and peel the, the, the dead skin, get like a real good sheet of it going. Oh God, I'm like, let me at it. And my daughter is the same way. She um, loves getting her hands on stuff like that, like mother, like daughter, right? You guys ever take a look at this brush? This is the um, Lash, what does that say, Sensa? I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. Anyways, it's the Maybelline in the rose gold. This brush, it's got longer bristles on this side, and this side here is the really short bristles, so you can get way in with the roots. So that's kind of neat. So, I'm gonna put on some more eyeshadow because my five minute challenge just cut it too short for me. I'm going to take this little brush right here, this little elf brush. I call it my C brush because it's shaped like a little C. And I'm going to take these two from my Stila palette. Oh, by the way, this is the Stila Nouveau Natural eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to take these two and blend them. I'll blend it out in a Some days, ladies, it takes a village. Oh, you know what I forgot to put on? I forgot to put on my Fergie Wet n Wild. 